In this video, we are going to take a look at an update on my AI automation website. Uh, if you haven't watched the first episode, maybe just go back so you can catch up. Uh, other than that, since the last episode, I have been continuously updating the site with new blog posts, some new YouTube videos and some stuff that we're going to look at. We're going to look at the analytics too. Uh, so I think we're just going to start by looking at the, the new... I added a couple of new pages. So I kind of restructured it here a bit so you can see now we have this longevity page that actually has a YouTube video embedded and this is indexed too so this really helps with like uh, yeah EEAT is not what I call it now so here you can see we have all the latest posts and stuff and I did the same for the other category that it's gonna be personal development I added a video and indexed that and stuff so that is basically the new things on the site we have added about let me see now it's gonna be about 112 uh, posts. Let's take a look at the um, performance here. We haven't got any much traffic yet. I think we got 171 impressions, 22 organic clicks. Pretty happy with that, uh, just as an early start here. But if we go to pages, you can see we have indexed 108 pages. For videos, we have indexed 2. Uh, hopefully, we can get some more. I just added some more yesterday. And for the analytics, that is kind of skewed data because I, I posted this site on, uh, on the YouTube, right? So we got like 3,600 events and 500 users. Uh, but you can see like on organic search, we have 29 clicks. I'm pretty happy with that. I think we have a good start here. So the plan going forward is gonna be uh, It's definitely gonna be creating more YouTube videos like you see we only have five now So I'm gonna focus on that. I'm gonna be adding some more blog posts uh, I got a few questions about how I create these simple videos. Uh, I think I'm just gonna show you here So we uh, I just use plugins. We have this plugin called Vistla where you can turn your ideas into a captivating video so what I do is I just head over here on Whistler, right? Uh, I just paste in a script I create from the blog post. I just summarize it. Then I just paste it in here. We can right click on this and we get this video here. So let's take a look at it. Personal development is about cultivating a growth mindset. Unlock your full potential by embracing challenges and persevering through obstacles. Okay, so these are not good, right? Uh, but they're fine for now. This is gonna, just to fill up our topic on map, right? Uh, but uh, when I get to like some bigger articles after we have completed our topical map uh, I'm definitely gonna move on from this and I'm gonna create some more engaging videos Maybe using Canva or InVideo or something like that But for now I use Whistler just to get some authority on the YouTube videos to add to our blog posts And the plan going forward is uh, I hope for the next episode we have added at least like I um, hope to have 200 uh, blog posts to next episode That is kind of my plan uh, maybe we do 150, we'll see how it goes. So what I do is I kind of just take all this data we have here. I ask ChatGT, can you fill in some content gaps, give me some ideas for new articles and just write them. And we just do what we did in the previous episodes to fill out. We use Sapir and stuff for the automation, right? So I think this is working quite well. Uh, it's going to be exciting. Hopefully we can get some more action here, some more impressions at least. Uh, I'm very happy with the indexing, I'm happy with the video indexing. Hopefully we can get some more, uh, but other than that, uh, so far, so good, and thank you for watching this update.